Hi, in this video I will demonstrate how to work with a simple list view in Android. I will show you step by step how to do the following. Number 1. Add a list view in XML and load the list of months dynamically using string array and array adapter. Number 2. Add on item click listener on list view to handle on item click. When clicked on a list item, it displays selected month as a toast message. By the end of this video, you will be able to do this. Open Android Studio. And click start a new Android Studio project. Click next. Give the project name. Write the package name. I am going to save on my D drive. For language, select Java. And for minimum API level, it should be API 15 or Android Ice Cream Sandwich. Click finish. Now wait for Android Studio to build and configure your MT project. Since the design support library in version 22.1.0, list view has an alternative, recycler view, that offers more options and functionality but is slightly more complex to use. For now, I will use list view and in an upcoming tutorial, I will show you how to work with recycler view. So what is list view? Android list view is a view which groups several items or views and displays them in vertically scrollable list. List view is a subclass of adapter view and they can be populated by binding them to an adapter which retrieves data from a source such as an array or array list or a database query and converts each entry into a view that can be added into the adapter view layout. The adapter behaves as a middleman between the data source and the adapter view. So we need to use one of the adapter classes with list view. For example, array adapter, base adapter, cursor adapter, simple cursor adapter, etc. List view is widely used in Android applications. The most common examples of list view are your phone contact and SMS app. In phone contact, you have a list of your contacts displayed in a list view and if you click on an item, the user information is displayed. Inside a list view, we can show a list of text items by using text view or pictures using image view or any other view or a combination of views. Now let me give you more insight into adapter and adapter view. The simplest example for the adapter is the AC power adapters. Suppose you are visiting Euro from the US with your laptop which expects a US power supply. To get your laptop plugged in, you are going to need a power adapter that accepts your US plug and allows it to plug into the European power outlet. The AC adapter knows how to deal with both sides, acting as a middleman. This is the idea of an adapter. In Android, an adapter acts as a bridge between an adapter view and the underlying data for that view. The adapter provides access to the data items and is also responsible for making a view for each item in the dataset. Some commonly used adapters in Android are Add Adapter, Base Adapter, Cursor Adapter, Simple Cursor Adapter, etc. You can also create your own adapter class by extending base adapter or array adapter to create a list view or spinner based on your specific requirement. An adapter view is a view group that displays items loaded into an adapter. Commonly used adapter view subclasses are list view, spinner, grid view and gallery. In general, these views provide the selecting capability in your app's UI. So the main purpose of adapter and adapter view is the efficient use of your resources and to provide flexibility. Next come back to the code. Go to activity underscore main dot xml. Click the text tab and first I will change this layout to linear layout. Next I will delete this text view. From the design tab I will drag and drop a text view into the linear layout horizontal. 
go to the text tab I will delete this attribute layout underscore weight equals to 1 for text I will use simple list view I will give a color of at Android colon color slash hollow underscore blue underscore dark I will use a text size of 32 SP and I will give a margin bottom of 5 dp and for this linear layout I will change the orientation to vertical and give a gravity of center also I will use some padding of 16 dp next go to design tab and click legacy and drag and drop a list view into this linear layout go to text tab I will give an ID of at plus ID for a slash LV for list view month check the design okay next come back to main activity first I will declare an object reference of our list view so write this view LV month semicolon I will declare a string array to store the months that I will generate programmatically so write string open close brackets months inside on create I will create the object by calling find by ID which returns a reference to our list view so write LV month equals to find by ID r dot ID dot LV month to populate months I will write months equals to new date format symbols dot get months next I will create the array adapter instance having the month list array adapter of string month adapter equals to new array adapter for context pass this for layout resource write android dot r dot layout dot simple list item one and for data object pass months in order to display items in the list call set adapter to associate an adapter with the list lv month dot set adapter month adapter okay Let's check the output As you can see, the list view is being populated. To set on item click listener, simply write LV month dot set on item click listener and pass this. Now here you can see the red squiggly. Just click on this and press Alt Enter and select make main activity implement android.widget.adapterview.onItemClickListener click OK 
Here, parent is the adapter view where the click happened. View is the view within the adapter view that was clicked. This will be a view provided by the adapter. Position is the position of the view in the adapter. ID is the database row ID of the item that was clicked. Now here write string month equals to to get the month that was clicked we can write parent dot get item at position here you can pass position dot to string and next we can show a toast message by writing toast dot make text for context you can use get application context for text you can use clicked class month and for duration you can use toast dot length long or length short then call the show method let's run the application to check the output February click February April April July December perfect now let's see what are the different ways we can use to get the month from the list view let's comment out this line we can write months and we can use the position over here may click may all right we can also use view and we can cast this into text view and then we can call get text then to string let's see the output March okay it's also working as you can see and finally you can use LV month dot get item at position position dot to string run the app once again August August September click September okay it's also working perfectly to customize the appearance of the list view create a new XML file and use that in array adapter go to RDS layout right click new layout resource file and here type text view give the name list item click ok and this will be the appearance of just one item in the list view press ctrl alt l 
I am going to change the layout underscore height attribute to 50 dp and change the text size to 18 sp and text color to at color for a slash color primary dark and I will also give gravity of center so that the text is aligned horizontally and vertically centered. Next go to main activity and here just copy this line comment out this line and paste below here write r dot layout dot list item okay run this app to check the output as you can see the appearance of the list view has been changed also if you click on February click February that means the on item click listener is working perfectly I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, write those in the comment box below. Please like the video, share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.